Hello. It's so great to see you both. Let me see. It looks great. Why haven't seen you in so long? You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. PK, you want to go first? Okay, so you may have a seat. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you. I'm looking forward to getting my uh, teeth cleaned. Honey, you do realize you're not going to be able to speak for like 10 minutes. That means I get uh, to do honey, all the that's, talking. Honey, that's normal life for me <laughs> with you. About two years ago, PK decided to get his teeth done. PK is like basically smiling all the time now. Go ahead and switch for 10 seconds. So I had to get my teeth done. I mean, you're not a real couple unless you do your teeth together. There he is. How are you? Yes. Best I'm dentist in the whole entire you. world. So good to see you. You guys are aging in reverse. I am anyway. Seriously, I think this the, the new teeth spearheaded like a whole... Yes, it did. ...looking fantastic. Yes. But why didn't any of that happen for me, then? I mean, shit's gone down since I've had these teeth. A home invasion, a DUI. I mean, these teeth don't appear to be that lucky. I'm not happy that PK didn't tell me about his police encounter. I decided, because I wasn't booked or such, that I wasn't going to tell you the whole thing happened. Are you kidding me? The only reason why you did is because you needed me to pick up your car. Yes. But it doesn't make me lose all trust in him. Seriously, gentle. Of course, if he makes another mistake, it may not be so easy on him. Hey, clean that Bugatti. The Bugatti? No, the Bugatti. The party? Oh. The party. No, he said he's going to buy me a Bugatti. I think I actually heard him I, say, I I've got Bugattis for both of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I've been involved with this charity. It's called Homeless Not Toothless. OK. For people that couldn't afford getting their teeth cleaned, getting them done. Oh, I like that. So PK and I are putting on a little event. I'm on the board of this charity, Homeless Not Toothless. Oh, wow. Sharon Stone is on the board with me. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. I feel very privileged. It's just a really incredible, beautiful charity. Great. How about if I have a dinner at home? That sounds yeah. fun. I'd love that. I'm coming with my bells on. I'm so excited. So if you're in town, I'd love for you and your wife to come. Yeah, I'd love to. Maybe we can select a well-deserving person, and we can do a gift of a smile. I love that. Yeah. Sharon Stone and I used to be neighbors. When she got involved with Homeless Not Toothless, she knocked on my door and she said, this is a great charity. You should really look into it. And so I did. It was a charity that didn't have a lot of attention, and I felt like I could do something to bring even more awareness. They're all clean now. OK. Wow, they look beautiful, baby. Yeah. Have you got a picture of the performers? Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, my God. I'm not sure I'm prepared to look at it again. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, PK! That's what I met you. Look at that. That is I, what I married. That's I mean, what that's I had children love. with. That's that's love. Love. That no. is love. Can that you imagine is love. what a catch I am? <laughs> Seriously. If I managed to pull Dorit with those teeth. I can never remember where we put my key. Yeah, it would probably be helpful if it was on your keychain. Also, I don't know how to close down the store. You probably should know that, though, right? For your store. I, OK. I sometimes play stupid. I do know how to do it. Uh-huh. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're so, like, fancy. OK. I just literally call this the kitchen sink outfit. I just you keep like this on your kitchen sink. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Let's sit here. Okay, let's sit here. Yeah. Hi. <sighs> okay, that was a lot of work. Are you I might not look covid but I'm just exhausted. Well, I've got to tell you, it takes a life out of it. Porter has been working at the store, okay. and she told me today that she has a sore throat. Do you want to come work for my store? Because apparently, I have to hire some people. You better be paying a lot. I pay commission. You can make a lot of no, money. No, I could wear I'm really good at sales. You know, I used to work in clothing. My first job in retail was Victoria's Secret. I was 16 years old. I ended up getting fired the same day because I was too young. So I walked right across into the finish line. Here's the thing. I hate feet, but I got like three bucks commission if you sold a shoe cleaner. <sighs> Killed it. How are you? How was Sabado? It was terrible. Well, I, OK. Full yeah, disclosure, I saw, actually... I saw Lisa yesterday. So I, heard... I heard her side. 
Lisa blew up at me. Well, she says she's angry. No, she says she's very angry at you. Well, she didn't say that at lunch when it was just me and her. Right. But when she has her audience, then she can explode and look at me like she's going to kill me. Do you want to resolve it? Do you want it to be over with? Or I, you know, I've done everything that I can. This is on her. It's not on me. Right. Well, I'm sick of talking about Lisa. Tell me what's going on with you because you have not talked to me about what's going on lately. I talked to Rinna about Amelia's eating disorder because she's anorexic. She was anorexic. Rinna told me that everyone was talking about it the other day, which is fine. It did come up about your eating disorder mm. and whatnot, so that was talked about the other day. Okay. People are concerned. You can get the right help because I've watched my daughter. I really do think that you should do I guess something I just, like, about it. Oh, is it. Is it really going to be forever? You know. I personally don't think so. I forget that because it's so normal for me, how not normal is for other people because they don't know much about it. So, you know, I understand that Brie is, you know, concerning for people, so. Uh -huh. It seemed to me like not out of, I don't know. I don't Say know. it. I don't know if the concern was like grave concern or. I judging me? A little because I have an eating disorder? Or what is this? This is a lifelong journey. This is not like you have enough money, you have enough time. Like I have all the access to find the right people. It's a disorder. Right. I'll make sure to take a page out of their perfect yes, plan Yes, they book. don't have any problems. I'm sure I won't have this like in a week. I'm sure it's gonna be gone. Yeah. I'm definitely seeing a pattern with some of the women in this group that my vulnerability is met with judgment.